Hi guys, how are you out there? I hope you're doing great wherever you are. Welcome to Ophucus and Me. I appreciate you guys for stopping by here today to see what's going on. It is December 18th, 2022. It's 9.28 p.m. And um, I want to say that the sun is in a fucus. I mean, in Sagittarius now. Um, let me look that up really quickly. Um, hold on, guys. Um, Let's see. Mm, yeah. The sun is currently in the constellation of Sagittarius. So we have um, finished with our season <laughs> and now it's in Sagittarius season. Ah, those things where we thought we were the whole time, you know. So, however the case, I appreciate you guys for being here with me. I hope all of you enjoyed your birthdays and uh, had a good time. And uh, thank you for all, this, all of the support that you guys um, are showing me and helping this channel grow. I appreciate every single last one of you. Um, even if you're new, I appreciate you just for stopping by here. So, I'm not going to waste any time today. I'm going to get straight to it. Um, I'm gonna or I'm gonna do the oracle. I'm gonna do the tarot. I mean the um, index, and then I'm gonna do the tarot. And um, yesterday's read was very interesting, but good. It was a good message. Um, so guys, since I used the angel oracle yesterday, I'm gonna go down the down the row there and go with the star seed today. Uh, it's been a good couple of days since I used these, maybe about a week. So let's see what energy I get from this starseed oracle. And um, what's today? Sunday. Yeah. I went to work today. Like, always working. And uh, nothing extravagant. Or cool or anything happened while I was at work. No extravagant stories or nothing to tell today. <laughs> kind of bland today. There by myself. Like, wow. Nothing going on. But it was funny because I saw my coworker. <laughs> That works with me in the back at the store when I got off work. Well, I didn't see her in the store. I saw her going to her car. And I was getting ready to go in the store. And I'm like, hey, you went there the other day. Are you alright? She was saying how her blood pressure was really high. And luckily she listened to her body and didn't go into work. Because it probably would have had to take her out on a gurney, you know, and rush her to the emergency room, so, luckily, she listened to herself, and you guys, I hope all of you listen to your body as well, our bodies, you know, talk to us, don't ignore the signs, all right, all right, let's see what we have here. I hope all you guys are doing well, wherever you are out there, and hope you had a good day. And, um, hope it was more exciting than mine. <laughs> mm, I, some days are just not exciting. <laughs> Tell me, in the older I get, I don't do much. I moved out of the busy city life because I just was tired so tired of it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep them.
I was just looking to make sure all the colors are the same at the bottom. I figured they were. Okay. So we have here. Forge, don't follow. We've had this card before. You might make your own path, right? And this one says, I'm sorry. Defenselessness, writing past wrongs, uprooting. Interesting. These two flew out together. So let's read the Forge, don't follow first. Okay, so it says here, pave a new path, <clears throat> excuse me, be the leader you wish you had. If you wait until the path is perfectly paved, you won't be forging your own path, and you'll likely not even take the first step. Don't let a small detail like being unable to find someone to show you the way be the reason you don't step forward and lead. Let it be the reason that you do. The most courageous and needed leaders are the ones who don't wait for permission or until the morning they wake up feeling ready. They take a deep breath, put one foot in front of the other, and figure it out as they go. They don't wait for someone to lead them. They lead themselves. This is a card for leaders. You're here to pave a path that hasn't been walked before. To go first and lead the way for others who are calling you in. If you feel misrepresented in the media, step forward for all those who also feel misrepresented. If no one's speaking out on the topics you feel passionate about, share your unique voice. There is no one on earth who comes close to possessing your unique combination of skills, gifts, and life experience. Don't look to those who have come. Don't look to those who have come before you to work out your path. Leaders must forge their own. Do it for your daughter. Do it for your younger you. Do it for the leaders who will follow. When you go first, you make it easier for others to follow your lead. Forge. Don't follow. Okay. Yeah, make your own path. Create your own world. Know that it's there because you made it. <laughs> okay. So then this one says, I'm sorry. Okay. Defenselessness. <clears throat> Riding past wrongs and uprooting. We're living in divisive times. When we're hurt and triggered, we tend to see things as a personal attack rather than an opportunity for healing. If we're to find true peace and unity, we need to drop our defenses and see things outside of right and wrong. Our souls are intrinsic, intrinsically, intrinsically, and intrinsically. Am I saying that right? Oh, intrinsically. It's like I'm feels like I'm saying it wrong. And where was it intrinsically? Excuse me. It's about that time and I have to do my my daughter's hair. Why can't I spell this word fast enough? <laughs> Oh, wow. I can't even hear it. What the heck is going on? Why can't I hear the damn word? 
Does that make sense to me? I don't like anything. <laughs> Just come on. Seriously? Don't have to be complicated now, do you? Man, we do it here then. That phone wanted to act retarded. I N T R. Sorry, guys. Oh my, I always say, I think I'm saying it right, and then it's like, no, you're not saying it right. Intrinsically. 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 I, I said intris, intrinsically. I don't know what I said. Anyway, I am not about to sit here and fight with myself right now, okay? Intrinsically. What the hell is <laughs> intrinsically these words i'm trying to tell you let me back it up so it says here first as souls we intrinsically which means in an essential or natural way can they just say that <laughs> our soul, our, as souls we intrinsically okay Oh gosh, in a natural way, remember unity and yearn for it here on earth. Perhaps this is why it feels so painful when we experience the opposite, but it's crucial to remember that we can't simply bypass reality and pretend that unity, love, and forgiveness are here. This is one of the greatest challenges for star seeds. To bring about unity, we must first acknowledge the ways in which both we and the world have been divisive. Personally, ancestrally, and collectively. The shadows, hate, wounds, separation, severing wrongs and sadness you may be called to explore how you your ancestors or your society have consciously or unconsciously inflicted pain on others to find a way to drop the armor around your heart and see things as they truly are for all people to say i'm sorry with an open heart and mean it to be part of the healing rather than the perpetuation of inherited conflict or oppression. This isn't about blame. It's about unwinding the pattern, the patterning that got us here. You may be called to devote your time to causes you believe in or do healing work on your ancestral line. Wow, this is deep. Because, see, I, I, if, to say you're sorry for anything um, it means that you feel some sort of guilt somewhere. Um, past wrongs and trying to merge something. Like also here where it says you're forging and you're not following. You're creating this new pathway and you're doing something that no one else has done before, right? Um, in terms of, you know, maybe um, bringing up a heavy topic um, or subject matter and stating your case stating how you feel you know um regardless of how someone may see it view it or whatever and who's to say how many other people actually may feel like you um like i said you may be a leader of other leaders 
as well, you know, but you're the first one to step out to do or say or do something about it. So this is very interesting. I mean, like, wow. Okay. So let's, uh, let's tap in, guys. Let's get a couple index cards. I appreciate you guys for being here with me. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you and your time. Stopping by to see what's going on here. Me looking up words and all this there. <laughs> you have to be kind of patient <laughs> to watch my channel. I, I'll be doing all kind of stuff. I appreciate your patience. Okay. I do. Okay. One more from the top there. Okay, now let me get these. Just take the bottom half here. And here I'll take the top half. The one from the bottom. Okay. Excuse me. Alright, so let's... Let's dig in intrinsically. Am I even saying it right? Something must be tripping on these words, like, bro. Where was I in English class? I didn't see any of those words. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. She is just screaming. <laughs> and she's just doing it over and over again. She's feeling herself. I ain't mad at her. She's feeling that funky beat. All right, let's see what we get. Turn here. There we go. Okay, let's see what we get. better than they do. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Let's see what we get here. <clears throat> that dog, oh my. She is on one tonight. She won't stop barking. Usually it's her crazy son. But she's just. One more, one more time. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, I want to find a way. Oh, 
one more time. Oh my gosh. Allow time for healing. Okay. Let me pick that up. Good God. Time to pray. All right. <sighs> pray for strength. Light a candle to set the mood. All right. <laughs> she said I got better things to do. Oh goodness. That's funny. I don't know where they get these songs from. She's saying about what she could be doing besides probably tripping on some person. That's funny. Alright, here we go. Well, she said I got better things to do than what? <laughs> something about you. Some uh, better things to do than you or something. I don't know. Where these songs be coming from? Alright. That's that there. Let's see what we get now. You got their attention, whatever you're doing. All right. Okay, let's see now what this story is going to bring us. I have a couple that I think came out yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, It's taking some time. So whatever it is that you're cultivating, getting ready, uh, processing something is taking us some time. This is why I laugh. He likes white chocolate women. Okay, Linda. <laughs> All right, here we go. First date. You went on a first date with someone. All right. You have the special ingredient. You're also highly protected. Maybe like hiking on mountain trails. Uh, I belong to you. And I give all my love to you. That's by Rome. Every time I see your face, it makes me want to sing. Somebody, you're happy to be around them. you like, I belong to you, you belong to me. That's that. Um, someone drives a Toyota or a Lincoln. Um, you are crazy about them. <laughs> oh, first date. Okay. Uh, you're a diamond in the rough. He says, girl. Um, but that's, <laughs> you're special. And, uh, see you. Uh, Anthony Hamilton. That's who sings that song. It's a nice song, actually. I can't sing it like he does. I don't know the song like that. I, it's just, you know, you're special, you know, hand picked. You see the beauty in you here. Well known or popular. And yeah, we have here very productive and third party involved. Oof, no one likes that. So use discernment, okay? With this here third party, pick up where you left off. 
Uh, I belong to you. <laughs> Time to pray. Always. Someone likes to sew. Or crochet. Someone's name starts with the letter E. Someone's name starts with the letter X. Someone may be a, a little lonely. Missing their other counterpart or something like that. People are being judgmental around you. Maybe because of what you're trying to get going. If you've talked to someone. Uh, dream bigger. Okay. Light a candle to set the mood. Just relax. You're protected here. Okay. The challenges won't stop you. All right. Ooh, it's just lust. Someone's name starts with the letter A. Go ahead and get to it. You make a great team together. Perfectly aligned. No such thing as competitions, unless we're talking about degrees. Basically what I'm saying there is we're all different. You can't go comparing yourself to the next person. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, like even even in terms of saying, you know, oh, well, I have a, um, a doctorate and this person has an associate's. Okay. Well, the person that has a doctorate, you know, may not know how to, you know, okay, so or crochet or whatever. Like, you know, there's just no competition. People are uniquely who they are, you know, and um, that's that. And you may be smart in uh, one area and this person that has a doctorate and, you know, struggled and, you know, math or whatever. So, I mean. You can you can say okay yeah I have a doctorate and you know you know if you want to throw, throw around titles and whatnot but at the end of the day does that make you feel good about yourself <laughs> I mean what you know I don't know it's just like there's no comp there's no such thing as competition we're all great you know I mean okay yeah you went to school for a long time and got these degrees and i hope you're doing well and hope you're doing what you want to do and all that there but i mean you know what i'm saying like there's no need to boast about anything like you know okay you went to school like it's kind of hard for me to break it down but there's no such thing as competition you know it's just we're all people out here you know that have unique skills like that like that book said about forging your own path. You don't have to have a doctor in the forge your own path. You know, we're all unique in our own way. So autumn time is like a couple of days away. <laughs> Someone likes uh, to cook, bake, culinary arts. Maybe you're thinking of going back to school. Okay. And someone is getting flowers soon delivered. Ooh. Okay. So, this is a very interesting spread and in talking about forging your own path and uh, saying you're sorry for things that either you have done or your ancestors have done and bringing it to the forefront. Okay. Excuse me. So, I don't know which deck I want to use. Okay, hold on. I think I know which deck I want to use. Okay. Let me use these first. 
So this is the first deck. I appreciate you guys for being here with me. Just go here with me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a little like draggy, slow dragging today a little bit. Um, I think it's because like I came in from work and then I went to the store and then I fed the animals and then I took a shower and then I ate a big bowl of noodles and got my tea over here made my children some burritos and so I'm like kind of tired and I still have to do my daughter's hair I'm like oh my gosh I did my son's last night so I'm like okay do hers cannot do them both in one night anymore like that's just too much work on top of the work that I just came from so anyway, here we go. Let's see what's going on with these cards. Let's see what they tell us. Let's do this one more time here. All right. Give me a second, guys. Two of Wands, planning, future, you're focused on your future, some sort of future endeavor, what you're doing with your future. Nine of Wands, at the bottom it says resilience, so wounded warrior, moving along through the hurt, many things to do. You're not worried about past, anything, you're, you're moving forward. And uh, of course, with the Nine of Wands, you're the Queen of Wands. Fiery energy, vibrant, ready to do, ready to get to work. You're ready to get to it. Okay. And here you have the Nine of this or pentacles it says culmination so you're in a, a space where um you're comfortable you know you can make moves you can do things you know you're not struggling so on and so forth Wheel of fortune things are starting to move and here we have the knight of wands which means that you're doing things just how you want to do it and um that's just what it is. Challenges won't stop you. Challenge challenges. <laughs> won't, I felt like I said that wrong. Challenges. Challenges won't stop you. Okay. There's something that um well, besides yourself, like, you know, you're about to birth this new pathway, this new era in your life, this new level story, you know, um, like you feel like there's something that has to be done with, over, you know, and um, at the bottom of one of those decks it just say healing uh, may be required, oh, I only want one right here. I didn't go over the cards, but um, I took a long time going through them, so let's see what else we get here. You are dreaming, you are dreaming bigger. And here with the Prince of Swords, determination, just like the Nine of Wands, you are gaining the courage to come out to say whatever it is that you think needs to be said um, while you're getting ready to forge this path, okay? Yeah, you're a superstar, okay? And here with uh, Nurture, Queen of Pentacles falling on top of the 
nine of pentacles like i said you're you're comfortable okay and with this here queen of pentacles and nurturing and the star it's like you're getting ready to like i said birth this new like essence of your own self you know like this person is like in the water like you know like <sighs> coming into a new person or baptized or something you know <laughs> like it just something is being birthed you're birthing yourself over again and this new energy you know um that you're working on that you're cultivating that something that you're doing here uh, okay and you're comfortable whatever it is that you're doing um you uh you don't need anyone's assistance or anything at all you're fine doing whatever it is that you're doing here okay so here with the three of wands and the vision your vision is clear and this is something that you hold dear to you okay you um it, it touches your heart okay and here are the prince of cups this is the knight of cups so you went from the ace and now the knight so like i said it's dear to your heart and you're you're offering this project your pathway a lot of your time and love you're birthing like i said yourself this new essence of yourself way of doing something four cups in reverse i don't think you're really too concerned about what, what love is up to at this time if anyone's offering you anything or you're not focused on that at this time maybe because there's a third party involved maybe because someone already left you out in your life whatever i have time for this interesting yeah king of pentacles this way so i'm gonna put them in reverse so you're not looking for anybody's cup maybe like i said he maybe he already left you hanging on the on the outskirts or something like that excuse me and he's the opposite of you you're the queen of disc and he's the king of disc in reverse so i think that um like I said, you're not worried about this person. Why was I continuing to flip? I'm done. There. Hold on. Oh, goodness. What is it? Five of Cups in reverse. All right. You're not hurt. You don't care. You, you have bigger and better things that you are doing at this time. And it says it's just lust. Like, he's not worried about anything. That's not him offering you the cup. You are worried about what you're doing okay at the bottom of the tower so that is just something that is not uh, you're not worried about that person you use your discernment they don't they're not really who they say they are or something like that and um, what you're trying to do they're not they're just not for you and like they got other people involved and so on and so forth so it's just like um you're not for me just you know <laughs> go do your thing you know, i'm doing me and you can go somewhere and do you <laughs> so What was the first card?
Oh, it, it's taking some time. Okay. I'm going to say, get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. Don't give up. Get up, stand up, stand up for your life. Don't give up your rights or something like that. Or don't give up the fight. Right. Yeah, don't give up the fight, you know. Stand up for what you believe in. There's other people that aren't aligned with you perfectly like you have over here. Oh, well. You're doing something that matters to you. When it's right, it, it'll be right. One more time. Okay. So here I have the seven of blades. Okay. Seven of blades. Seven of swords. Okay. So this person was shifty and not to be trusted because he had a third party involved and he wasn't uh, on top of his game like how he said he was. <laughs> So, it was just a lust thing. He didn't, he wasn't trying to offer you love. So, here you have the three of pentacles. Okay. So, you may, like I said, wanted to work with someone to help you with this project or get it off the ground or a little bit of support or something like that. Like who doesn't want support, right? But here, um, I want to say this is a hangman. It looks like it. Yeah. This is the hangman. Okay. And so, it took you a while to kind of get your footing, right? Like I said at the beginning, it's taking some time. You know, like how you're going to present this path. What all you were going to uh, expose or tell or say or something. Three of Swords. So there is some pain that's deep down, you know, inside of your soul that you want to get off of your chest. That's why you're about to do this, whatever this is that you're about to birth. Okay, because you've had some time to think and something hurts so this is uh, the knight of cups which is right here so and here it says introspection. So it's like you really do want to take this action of sorrow and pour your love, your cup of love, into what you're doing. Okay. I offer. Offer your time and your love to this project 
um, because like you're you're very sincere about it. Yeah, the strength part. You uh, have to be strong to do this, okay? And you're not, you're not stopping, you're not moving backwards, that's the chariot. This energy is, wow, serious. And with this here, shaman, with the, uh, that's the, um, hierophant, guys. <sighs> at the bottom you know um we it spoke of ancestors you know um like things that even maybe your your ancestors did or something like that um this is very deep okay like i didn't expect it to be this deep um i don't know maybe even when it saw a shaman or something like that like a real one, you know, and they broke some stuff down to you and you were like, oh my gosh, you know, like, like I'm the one that has to be the change, you know, or something like that. Um, crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this last deck here because, you know, I, like, I don't even have the right words that I want to say. Like, I'm, like, really kind of shocked. Really, like, is is that's that oracle uh, is a deep oracle. Like, wow. You know, just that, you have to be strong. Like, to get over things, like I said, regardless if it had nothing to do with going far back as ancestors, just yourself, you know, like standing up and admitting to things that you've done wrong, and, I'm sorry, you know, I don't want to continue my life living this way, and, you know, just whatever, just confessing with your heart. You know, like I said, there's some things that have hurt you, whether you did it or you found out about your ancestors or whatever, you know, you're taking, um, not, not the blame, but kind of, sort of, you know, you're taking that, that energy in and you are dissecting it and trying to bring it back different, you know, um, with love, and it takes a lot of power and strength to do that, so, um, congratulations, and, um, thank you for being you, you know, it takes courage to get out there and forge a pathway. Uh, especially when others aren't. Okay. One more time. Appreciate you guys. This is the last step. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys for being here with me. And um, I'm here every day doing daily reads for you guys. Come back and rock with me anytime. And uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you. And of course, only if you like. I appreciate it all, guys. Okay. Give me a second. Let's see. King of Swords. King of Swords. Being blunt, being honest, speaking your mind. Maybe that's what you want in your life. <laughs> Instead of this here upside down King of Pentacles. 
I need someone that's gonna be honest. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. So, like I said, this is something that you is really hitting your heart, and you want to give all of your attention to this. Here you have Five of Cups now that's coming out. Um, and it speaks of loss. So, yeah, well, maybe, you know, there were some things that didn't go well in your relationships. You know, family, who knows? I don't know. But something wasn't right somewhere. And here you'll be able to celebrate, okay? After it's all completed. And here you have um, the Empress. Oh, wait, no. The High Priestess. Okay. So the High Priestess. So, like I said, it's something that's speaking to you. Um, deep down inside, something that you know that you just have to do is calling you, literally. You hear it with, yeah, with the death transformation right on the same area. Okay. So it's something that you know that has to die out. And you're going to make sure that it does. Wow. Because it's, it's stressing you out. Five of wands. People arguing about things and not getting along, and you're like, ah, why? Why are you guys doing this? You don't have to do this, you know? So, how about, you know, I come out and tell you something or show you something or speak my truth? Wow, I'm done. That was crazy. All right. Well, guys, you get what you got from this, right? Uh, wow. All right. I guess it's time for me to go now. I'll talk to you guys a little later. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a good night or a good day. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. All right, guys. Bye-bye.